In this week's episode of Bake Across Europe, we're going to travel to Sicily, Italy, more specifically Catania. This Sicilian town has a very unique way of celebrating its patron saint, Saint Agatha, a third century Christian saint and martyr. From February 3rd to February 5th, every year, they celebrate with processions and festivities and a very unique dessert called Mine di Sant'Agata, or the breasts of Saint Agatha. Saint Agatha was a devout Christian and wanting to remain a virgin, she resisted the advances of the governor Quintianus. As punishment, she had her breasts cut off and then was ultimately killed for her faith. For centuries, she has been traditionally depicted in paintings holding a plate with her breasts on it. Thus, the dessert was made to resemble this. It's a dessert made with a short crust pastry and then filled with ricotta, chocolate chips, and candied orange peel, and then glazed on top with a white icing and topped with a candied cherry. There are several versions of this dessert, but today I'm going to show you the short crust version. So let's get started, and I'll show you how to make the breasts of St. Agatha. For this recipe, you will need 250 grams of all-purpose flour, 70 grams of powdered sugar, one egg plus one egg yolk. I know mine look a bit silly, but one of my backyard chickens lays very orange egg yolks. 75 grams of unsalted butter, and a couple of drops of vanilla extract, or one packet of vanilla sugar. To a food processor, add the flour and the sugar, and pulse a few times to combine. Now add the butter and then pulse until the mixture looks like crumbly sand. Add the egg and the egg yolk. A couple drops of vanilla and pulse until it forms a dough. Then wrap in plastic wrap and refrigerate for 30 minutes. Meanwhile, for the filling, you'll need 500 grams of drained sieved ricotta, 70 grams of granulated sugar, 80 grams of candied fruit. I'm using my homemade candied orange peels here. Let me know if you'd like to know how to make these. And 80 grams of dark mini chocolate chips or dark chocolate that's been chopped. Combine the ricotta and sugar and whisk together until smooth. Fold in the chocolate and candied fruit.
For these pastries, you will need a half spear silicone mold. I'll link the one I bought below. You will also need a round cookie cutter that is slightly larger than the whole of the mold. Roll out the refrigerated dough until it is only a couple of millimeters thick. Then cut out 12 circles if you're using two molds and making the whole recipe, or six circles if you're having the recipe like I did. I ended up using a mug that was slightly larger than my cookie cutter so that I could fit the dough all the way up the sides of the mold. I then pressed the dough into the mold to create a smooth half sphere. Now pipe the filling into the centers of the mold. I used a Ziploc bag with the end cut off for a piping bag. Cut out six smaller circles to fit the tops of each pastry. On the underside of each circle, wet the edges with either water or egg white so that the top short crust and the bottom short crust seal together all the way. Bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius for 45 minutes. Meanwhile, to make the icing, you will need one egg white, the juice of one lemon, and 40 grams of powdered sugar. In a medium-sized bowl, beat the egg white with one pinch of salt until it reaches soft peaks. Then beat in the powdered sugar and lemon juice. Add the lemon juice in one tablespoon at a time instead of all at once like I did. Mine ended up too thin and I had to had to add more powdered sugar to make my glaze thicker. Then pour over each pastry, covering all the sides until it has a nice smooth layer of white icing. Make sure they are at room temperature before pouring the icing over them. Top each one with a candied cherry and then refrigerate for a couple of hours to let the icing harden. Well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Let me know if you give it a try. It's definitely a unique one, not a, rest, not a dessert you hear about every day. Um, I, I thought it was really uh, tasty though. Not something I'm used to. I'm not used to fillings with ricotta and chocolate and candied orange, but I enjoyed the flavor. I do recommend trying them. Um, as always, let me know if there's anything you'd like to see me make from Europe in a future video. And please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you next time.